Hello and welcome. This is Ruth and I've got kit number 71 from Tonic to show you today. So this is the box and I think we'll just open it up and dive straight in. I've already had a look in this and it's absolutely jam-packed. Um, I don't know why but it just seems to have more stuff than usual in it. Maybe that's my imagination but there's lots and lots of lovely goodies in here. We've got the dies and stamps in there. A little booklet to tell you what to expect inside. This beautiful, well, it's always a surprise what's in there. And then this says free gift while stocks last. So that's a packet of A6 ivory white cards and envelopes and that's your bonus thank you gift. Ooh, very nice. And then this is the bit that I always look for first. So I'm going to open up this pack of papers and we'll see what the colour scheme is and then we'll have a look at the dies. This A4 folder is actually really, really handy as well. I always keep all my bits and pieces in there while I'm using the card and it keeps them really tidy and handy and then I know where to find them all in one place. And look at that already, isn't that just the most beautiful collection and selection of not only colours but finishes of the card. I'm just going to cover that, but there is silver mirror card in there too. Look at that, beautiful. Anyhow, this time, I actually I don't always get these little booklets and things because I get mine well in advance, but this time it's here and I'm happy to see that. A few ideas there of what you can make with the die set, but it also tells you what to expect in here as well. So we've got paper-wise and card-wise, we have got Arctic Blue, that's this one. So that's Texture Weave. And then I'll start at the back here. We've got Bright White, Coral Pink, a really, really beautiful colour. Silky Sky. I'm always drawn to blues and turquoises and that is the most beautiful, really, really gorgeous mirror card. It's a satin effect mirror card. Then we've got Blue Frost Pearlescent card, Coral Luster Pearlescent card, Chrome Silver mirror card. i cover that because I always tend to see my reflection in it. And then this one is Smooth Mint Mirror Card. That's a beautiful satin effect one. And then that's the blue that I showed you at the start. So I'll pack those back into the folder and then we'll have a look at what else we have. This is the little folder and then every three months you'll get a binder to keep these folders in as well. And usually uh, three, sometimes four, fit in there as well. So the kit is called Marshmallow Hugs and there's a sticker inside and I always just pop that right on there. And then when I put those in my binder, I know exactly what's inside that little folder. We'll just have a little closer look at the dies and stamps then. These are the stamps. I'll check those out in a minute or two. And then two little pages full of beautiful dies. Now, let's just turn this around and have a look. So first of all, you can see we've got a mug. And this is the one with the handle. So that would be the main mug shape there. And then we've got this one, which has tabs on it, and you can use that to make a pocket. It's slightly bigger, so you just round it a bit, tuck the tabs in behind, and you've got a pocket. And then this one is for the decorative detail on top. And these two, which have beautiful snowflakey patterns on them, can be cut into the card because they are verso dies with no outside edges on themselves. But you can use them with this one, and that will give you a panel that you can cut out and then add on there. We've also got this beautiful spoon here and that would be beautiful on that silver card because that debossing detail there looks absolutely gorgeous on that. Little mallows, we've got bigger mallows here. And then we've got this part would be the, um, when you look into the cup, that would be the hot chocolate or the tea at the top of the cup. You would pop that up here, right up there. And then this one, let's turn it around, you can see it better then. That one is like the cream or the hot chocolate or whatever that drips down from the top of the cup and that will go on there. Now we have more cream, so this one would sit on the top of your cup. That would be the cream and then these pieces that fit into it, so you have two dies for that. That one cuts out the outside edge and this one actually cuts individual pieces that you could either glue directly back onto that background one or you could add them on in 3D foam pads. Then we have steam, uh, more steam. You could use these for different things as well, just little decorative details here and here, but that's steam. Um, and then we've got these two round sentiments. One says sending warm wishes, warm hugs, sorry, and the other one says warm winter wishes. So this is warm winter wishes and this is sending warm hugs. 
and then we have this which would be the label so this one you would cut that out first and then add this into the center unless you want to just use an ordinary uh, punched shape or a, a circular die and you could cut that out because these are verso so they are actually intended to be used in here and then these are little extra details that fit on here and just add a little bit of extra on there so that's all of the dies accounted for we'll have a quick look at the stamps and here they are so this is another detail that you can add on to the top of the mug if you stamp that one out there's a beautiful pattern on there i think that would look really really beautiful if it was embossed as well with beautiful embossing powder then we've got marshmallow hugs and sending a latte love this is always very exciting. I've had a look already because I wanted to see. It just felt so full and I took the little plastic bags off so that it would be easier for you to see too. Oh, look. Right, lots and lots of stuff there and I'm going to read my little list so that I give you the correct names. But there's a pencil case first of all, which is absolutely fantastic. I love those because they're really, really sturdy. You can feel the lovely mesh inside them and they're great for keeping everything that you have that sort of size together. I sometimes keep pens and things in there, all sorts of things actually. Anyhow, as well as that, we've got some glimmer paste, which is really, really sparkly. And this one is called Shooting Stars. So you can use that through stencils. You can use it just to dab on different things. It would be really, really gorgeous on this set here, just sort of dabbed around the edges. So lovely. You can dry that with a heat gun or just let it dry naturally. It doesn't take too long to dry. And then we've got a glue pen. So this is a medium sized glue pen. You could just activate the tip by pumping this up and down on something. Um, I'll do it just for a minute or two. Like this and then you'll see some glue come in. And then you know that the glue has been activated. That's fantastic for using along with uh, gilding flakes or things like that because you can leave it. It's kind of tacky and it's really, really good for that sort of thing. Then we have some beautiful ribbon. Now I see on my list that I've got a 3mm glacier grey, but you might get 9 it's an either or. You can have either have 3mm or 9 in your kit. This then is some embellishment mousse and it is called Bermuda Pink. That's gorgeous, isn't it? There's a lovely sheen off that as well. Again, that can be used through stencils or you can just use it to paint with if you mix it with a little drop of water, but don't put your brush or any water back into the container to contaminate it. Take a little bit out and use it and then just either keep it in a little container separate from this one after the water's been added or discard whatever you've left. And then we've got some crystal drops and these are simply white gloss drops and they're fantastic for adding to all sorts of little, especially Christmas details that um, that's marshmallow hugs and it is a kind of Christmassy or wintry themed thing. And then we've got deluxe adhesive glue, and I use this all the time. You'll see this in all my videos. I love that stuff. Right, let's get started. I'm going to do some die cutting, and then I'll come right back and we'll have a look through what you can do with this. Don't forget, I didn't already mention that, but if you haven't subscribed, I would really love you to do that. You, you will be able to keep up to date with all the kits and different things that are coming. Everything that's um, coming will pop up if you hit the notification bell and if you do enjoy the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up that really helps me and it really helps my channel along if you do take the time to leave a little comment as well and that way we can sort of get to know each other I like to know who's watching and I love to know where you're watching from as well so thanks for everybody who does that my links to everything of course too will be down below in the description but I'll be right back with some ideas for the kit thank you I started to cut this out and then there were so many different ideas come flooding in so we'll just start right at the beginning and um, I thought I'd love a little card made out of this so I took the main die that cuts the mug so this one here and I took a piece of 300 GSM white smooth card and it measured 12 centimeters by 12 and I scored it across so it's six centimeters this way and set this die on top so that the die was actually just slightly above the cut, the fold and I hope you can see it there but the actual cutting line at the top was above the fold of the card so that meant whenever I cut this out it wasn't two different pieces it was just one with an attached part along the top there and that gave me a little card that stood up 
it's only a tiny only a tiny card but it does look pretty cute so then I took another one of the same die cut it out again in this card this time because I didn't want that flat piece showing from the front and I'm going to glue that directly on top right there you could decorate this in lots of ways I have so many pieces cut out that I wanted to add on but I can only do them one at a time. It's so so exciting when you see a die set that you just want to keep on making things with. Anyhow, I have cut out this die. So I used this one first of all and then I cut the Warm Winter Wishes into the centre of that. And I have just taken a punch that I had here and I've punched out some of this card. I'm going to glue that on the back of that and put that directly over there. I'll do that first and then I'll explain the, ne the next part. That's how it looks and I've put the two little pieces on here just to add some of the background colour onto the top and then I'm going to turn it over. So you can see on the back here that I wanted to add another piece on the front just like I've done here and then I want to add the pocket. So I've cut out some of the bright white card with the same die but I've cut it out on the reverse so that the panel shows you that the Craft Perfect card is there. Now that doesn't really matter because I am going to be covering most of it with a uh, pocket but I really wanted just to put this on and show you how it works. I've cut that out and obviously because it's on the reverse then it's not got the finished side on here and I went around all of those edges with my little bone folder and just burnished them down so that there's no edge sitting up on it and that makes it a lot tidier looking and I'm going to glue that directly on there but before I do that I want to add my little pocket on and I know the pocket could just go on like this. I have used the large die for that that's this one and I'm going to give that just a little shape around my pokey tool or something round, probably a glitter marker. Just a slight curl like that and then I could just add this straight on there but I want to add it on with the tabs in below that so I have set this on top here and then I'm just going to cut a little nick off this top one here, a little top tab there just like that and then that can go just in behind there I can glue all of that on and I have my little pocket sitting up on the back of it and I'm going to decorate that but I want to add something on top of that after I've got it on Isn't that a really, really lovely little design on the back as well? So now I want to add more decoration onto the front. I actually had the teaspoon cut out and I've cut it out twice. So I've got it in silver. It is really nice. And then I've got it in the pearlized card on the back. And I was going to pop it in there, but I think it might just not be strong enough to stand up and then you wouldn't see this piece. Um, I'm not too sure. So I think what I'm going to do is I've cut this one out in silver. And then I have cut these out in white and glued them directly on top and I want to add those on there so I'm going to add this little oval on first. Now you could probably have done this or I could have done this before I added the pocket on but I like to have it all in place and make sure that it's going to sit properly first. So I'm going to glue this one on and then this one on here and then this one just on there. We've got a pocket in the back then that we can add some well, hot chocolate or something that would be nice for a gift in there. I'd like to add a little bit of dimension onto that with these little crystal drops as well so I'm going to just add a couple of dots along here. I have cut a panel of the white card here and it measures 10 centimeters by 14 and a half 
and I've got the beautiful embellishment mousse and you can see I've already been testing it out and it looks really really lovely there. So I'm going to just do it very very roughly on the back on, on the back of the um, actual cup die or mug die with some of this sort of streaked onto the card and I've taken a quite an old rough brush because I really just want those brush strokes to be shown in this and I'm just going to swipe that quite thickly up and down the card and I definitely do not want to make this a sort of a too smooth and cover the whole thing and going for this kind of rougher look. That gives a beautiful sheen and it's a really lovely colour and I'm just going to let that dry. It will only take a minute or two. If it takes any longer than that and I have to carry on, I can just dry it with my heat gun. That has dried and it looks really, really beautiful. So I'm going to add some of the glazier paste on top of the glimmer paste, sorry, on top of this. And again, just very, very roughly. This is actually an older pot of it that I have. That's the same colour because I don't like to open a new one until I finish the old one. But it's really just to get a few swipes of that going on there. Ooh, that does look nice. layered that onto some silver card and then attached it to the front of an A6 card and you can see I've gone ahead and cut out lots and lots of other pieces there but that is a really really pretty background. So I'm having this in the landscape orientation and I'm going to put my mug of chocolate or whatever it is and the cream on but I want to put the cream on first because I want to have some of that down in below. So I've cut that in white and I have layered the little uh, pieces up on top of it. So these pieces cut out separately and I've just glued them on. You can see on this one I glued them onto silver but on this one it's on white. And I'm going to attach this onto the card first and then that way I know my mug and the everything else will fit on if I've got that sort of at the top there. Just right here. And then I have the mug which I have cut out in silver. I have put the other pattern on so there are two patterns for the back of that for the top of that, sorry, and one is on the back here and the other is on here and this time I've added the cream or whatever on top of that and I've added this on 3D foam pads. I'm just going to add a little dab of glue on here and there just to be sure and that will then go down round about there. Now I have lots and lots of little mallows cut out so this one actually cuts out the line detail. This one is exactly the same only in a smaller size and then these ones cut out the background. So you have this shape and then you can glue this one on top and that will give you these. But you can also use them just plain as well just like this. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, glue several of these in all around here. Next I have cut out this die so you can see that I cut the whole thing intact and then you can just take the circle out or cut these side pieces off. I actually just put it into a circle punch and it took out this tiny piece from the outside and then I backed it onto a circle from my punch again in this colour so that say, um, I, can't, I can't remember the name but um, I'm going to put that on up there. When it's going on a textured background, as I said there, I like to put a little drop of glue on as well and then that's going to go up there. Now I've got a spoon and I'm just going to work out where that would go. Yeah, that would be nice just about there I think. So I think what I'll do is I'll put some 3D foam pads on there and just glue this piece on. I've cut out 
these two little swirly pieces in silver and I want to balance this out so they're going to go on here and I'll just glue them um, enough glue to make sure they grab on top of that texture but that should just finish that off nicely. And then I just went ahead and added some of these crystal drops to the top because I thought that finished that off nicely. I've gone ahead and made another one in more or less the same way as I've made the others there, except that this time I've used a little piece of vellum in behind here and I've used it as the pocket and I've put the pocket on the front instead of the back this time. And you can see, hopefully you can see down in there, that that would be lovely to slip a little tag or a little gift or a little packet of hot chocolate or something down into and um, I think that turned out rather well. I love that colour so I wanted to be sure and add this spoon in to bring the background in and then I've cut out the back of the um, cream there in the same colour as well and then I have taken the little die that I've used before on here across the front of this one and I've just cut out the centre of it with a circle punch, or a circle die actually I used on that one, because I thought that the little snowflake in there was too pretty to be covered up, and I just wanted to cover that side piece and leave that empty, or open in the centre. So I'm going to go ahead and add some glue on there, and add this over the top. And of course this one is for sharing, so you can see there that we've got two spoons. One, two. And I'm going to go ahead again because I just really, really like this dotty effect on them. So I'll add some white dots to the background on here and uh, around here as well. Now I'm going to encourage you just to think outside the box, think outside the kit box. So we've got lots of dies, we've got lots of papers and things, and I want to combine them with something that I've already got, and that's the Santa and Friends die set. You might think I'm crazy, but I have this lovely mug, at least I like it. <laughs> it's a Christmas one and it's lovely with hot chocolate in it, and mallows and all the rest of it. But I remembered I had this and I thought, wouldn't that mug be lovely if I used a little features and little bits and pieces from the Santa and Friends little reindeer and added it onto the mug. So I have done just that and here is my card. So it's nothing like the photograph, the kit of papers. It's nothing like any of those things because the colours are so different but it's kind of like my Rudolph mug. Um, so I've used red in the background and I've used the uh, cream here and the mug but then I've used the antlers and the ears, the holly and the nose and the eyes, all from the Santa and Friends uh, reindeer part. I actually love it because I thought the red and the gold looked really nice together and I've brought out the gold by adding this in here. So it's very, very different from the others, but you could make so many different things with that as well. You could make the Santa, you could make the uh, snowman, and it, you could just carry on and make whatever you really really liked. But that there you are, it's just a little wild card I've thrown in. I'm just going to show you all of the other things that I've made now and that's me finished. That's the kit over and out for me for this stage. Uh, on, honestly I could have gone on and on and on with this one as I'm sure you see. But I love it and uh, I love that background on that one and I love the, place, the glimmer paste that I've used on this one. It's a bit thicker on that one than what I've used here. They both turned out really beautiful and all the layering and the mallows and everything just looks wonderful on there. And this cute little card, I think this was the first one I made with the pocket on the back and uh, the cream and all the rest. So I actually really love those crystal drops. I've added them onto everything here because just a few little dots changes everything, I think anyway. And there we are, that's the, the blue one. And then my little wild card. Thank you very, very much for watching. I can see already here that I haven't even used the stamps. There's lots of things in there that I haven't used, um, but I know that those are pretty straightforward for you to use and to work out. Um, I just hope that you've enjoyed what I have done here. But don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love you to do that. There's loads more coming. There's always videos in the pipeline. I have lots of stuff 
coming up uh, at least once a week but sometimes more than that as well. If you have enjoyed it don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, don't forget to uh, leave me a little comment, I really really love to hear from you, just to let me know if your mind thinks like this, works this way, when you see something and then you remember something else and off you go down that rabbit hole. Oh, it's a crafter's brain isn't it? Anyway, there we are. My affiliate links to everything that I've used here will be down below in the description of the video. And until next time, happy crafting. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.